Hey, my Valentine friends, we are going to make another Valentine dessert. This one is a strawberry angel food cake trifle. I make it in my big pretty trifle bowl. I love these. They make such beautiful desserts. All those layers in there. Um, you also are going to need a bottle that you can invert your tube pan on. That's the other thing you need is a tube pan. This inside comes out. And whenever you invert this, you just need to make sure that the end of this is big enough for that to sit on. And it's best if this is full of liquid because that cake is going to be heavy and you don't want it tipping over. So, with that being said, this two pan, it's nonstick. You are not going to spray these. If you spray it, your cake will fall out. So, you do not want to spray these pans. We are also going to need an angel food cake. Angel food cake at the store, if you buy one that's already made, I looked them up, they're about 10 ounces and they're about $5. I can make a 16 ounce angel food cake at home for about $2.50. And they are way fluffier, they taste better, they're better for you. I don't think they have to put as many preservatives in them whenever you do them this way. So make your own. It's just so much better. Um, water, that's all it takes when you're doing one from a, from a box. We're going to need a cup and a third of water. We are also going to set our oven to 325. So make sure I don't have anything in here first. Oh, that's the other thing. You have to set your um, your rack on the lowest setting because this cake is going to go really tall. So make sure you have your rack on the bottom. Let's see here. 325. Now this depends on what kind of uh, pan that you're using because I'm using the nonstick pan and it um goes at 325 if you're using an aluminum pan you need 350. it tells you all of that just follow your directions also if you do not have one of these two pans like this you can use loaf pans but you're going to need two or three of them because it makes a lot um let's see here i'm going to beat this cake mix on medium speed well low for 30 seconds and then medium for one minute Pretty simple, huh? This is not a batter that you want to eat either. It has something in there that I don't know. It, it's kind of fizzy. I'm pouring in my one and a third cup of water. Go it low for 30 seconds. Get me something to scrape that down with. Hello, Miss Tesla. Oh, no, you can't get up there. You want to say hi? Here, let's say hi while this is going. There she is. This is Tesla. Hi, sweet girl. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Yes, I love you, too. No, you can't have that. You cannot have that. Okay, I've got to turn this up to medium for a minute. She thinks she's going to get some of that, but that is not happening. I'm sorry, baby. Alrighty, let's see how this turned out. I had somebody that responded on one of my videos. And I was scraping down the sides and they mentioned that there is a way to adjust these. And so I have got to go and look that up so that I can do it. And once I figure it out, I'm going to share it with you. They said that once you... Uh, get this fixed. You don't have to be scraping down the sides that much anymore. So, 
It seems like such a waste. I want to lick this, but you just can't. It's gross. It's really gross. So let me put that in there. Okay. Now let's mix it again. Okay, that should be good. Unplug your mixer. I'm always afraid I'm going to do that and there I did it. I'm trying to make where y'all can see. Hope y'all can see what I'm doing. Just pour this in and make sure you get it in there even. These are the easiest cakes to make. Water. That's it. So hard, huh? And there I go, making a mess for y'all. See that? Mm -mm. It's not horrible, I guess, but you don't want to just sit and eat a whole bunch of it. I just smooth it around a little bit. Got it all over me. Wipe that side off where I messed up. Then I have to wait. We're not quite there yet on that oven. So I'll be back with you in a sec. All right, our oven is finally ready and we are going to cook this for between 37 and 47 minutes. So I'm going to put it in here on the bottom rack, like very bottom. Take the other one out if you have to. I'll be back. Hello, guess what's ready? Now you want your angel food cake to be a nice golden brown. And you want those cracks like that, that are in there to be not, hang on, I'll say in a second. You don't want those cracks to be sticky in there. Don't know why I took this off because we immediately have to invert it onto the spiral. Let's turn this off. The first time I ever made one of these, it was scary. I just knew that cake was going to come out of there. But it didn't. There you go. We're going to let it sit there for an hour. And then I will be back. It has been an hour. This cake is nice and cool. It did not fall out. Here we go. Okay, to remove an angel food cake, you take a sharp knife and you go around the edge of it it's going to be kind of stuck to the edges. And you turn it upside down and it will release from that portion. So then you still have this portion on here. Then you have to separate it from that as well.
and go around the inside too. And there we have it. All right, let's get this cake cut. And I am using a serrated edge. You see that? That's what you need to cut this because you don't want to squish it. Any other kind of knife is going to just squish it. I'm cutting it into cubes. Let me get something to lay this on. Just one second. Here we go. I think this will work good. I'm going to cut it into one to two inch cubes. You just have to be really careful that you're not squishing it. it squish is so easy. You have to go light. I'm not going to use all of this cake because it only calls for a 10 to 13 ounce cake and this is a 16 ounce cake. So I will have a little bit left over and that's good because I like to just eat me some angel food cake. <laughs> it's so good. That's how much I had left. That's what I'm going to keep to the side. I have this big old bowl popped up angel food cake. Okay, we're going to need an 8 ounce container of whipped topping. We are going to need one pound of frozen sliced strawberries. These are not in syrup or anything. These are just frozen sliced strawberries and that's one pound. We are also going to need a three ounce uh, package of strawberry gelatin. I wanted to get you over here a little bit closer. You also are going to need one and a half cups of water. I'm going to put that in my pan or my pot. I'm going to get this water going. I want to get it to boiling. While we wait on that water to boil, which it's almost there, I'm going to go ahead and throw some of these pieces of cake in the bottom of this trifle bowl. I just love these things. They make such beautiful desserts. Okay, looks like we're done. Hang on just a second. I'm going to bring you over here to the stove top. Okay, we are boiling. I'm going to pour in this strawberry gelatin. And I do it slowly, stirring as I pour it in. Then going to throw in these frozen strawberries. Stir it up really good. And then I'm going to put it, see if y'all can see what I'm doing. Let's scoot you over a little bit. Turn this off. I'm going to pour these into this bowl. Very carefully not to splash it up on yourself. You have to be really careful. Then I'm going to add this um, foot topping. And I'm going to get this all stirred up. Okay, 
Now, the rest of this trifle, I'm going to pour in here. Not trifle, I'm sorry, the rest <laughs> of the cake. Got trifle on the brain. I'm gonna mix that up. It smells delicious. Okay, let's get our bowl back over here. I'm going to pour this on to the top. Well, I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. Trying not to make a mess, that's for sure, and I already am. Should have had you on the other side, huh? You didn't miss it much. Pick this up off the deal. Had a couple of pieces of cake stick out there. I am going to add some pretty strawberries to the top. And there we go. Now, this needs to sit in the refrigerator for a minimum of four hours. So I will go stick this in the fridge. I'm going to lightly cover it with some saran wrap. Put it in the fridge for about four hours. This dessert has sat in my refrigerator overnight, and I can't wait to dig into it. So, let's try a bite. I can't tell if it's focusing on it or not. Mm -mm -mm. Strawberry angel food cake trifle. Y'all go make you some for Valentine's Day. And then you can make it all the rest of the year too. It's so good. Talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.